Hello students, today in Intro to Agriculture, we are going to go over personal safety, health, and first aid policy. In all of your future agriculture classes, you will have to know these very important skills, which are easy to learn. These skills can not only be used in the classroom, but they can also be used later in life. The first thing we're going to talk about is personal safety. While in the shop, it is always important to keep yourself safe. The first thing we're going to talk about is clothing. You must always wear long sleeve shirts and blue jeans while wearing closed-toed shoes. A pair of boots like this is recommended. You can keep it in your locker or you can wear them day to day. A pair of shoes like this, however, is not. Even though they are closed-toed, they have rubber in them and they're made out of canvas, which will easily catch on fire. One recommendation would be to have a long coat like this. This coat is flame retardant and it will help keep burning pieces of metal off your skin. It is not required, but it is recommended. What is required, however, is a pair of safety goggles. While in the shop, you must be wearing safety goggles. It doesn't matter how far away you are from someone cutting wood or metal, a piece could always come across the room and get you in the eye. Safety is our number one priority. Welding helmets must be worn when we will be teaching welding. Not wearing a welding helmet may not seem like a big deal if you're not the one doing the welding, but it could cause a massive headache or even blindness. Everyone in the shop should have a partner. Your partner is there to do things like watch your back and make sure your pants don't catch on fire if you are cutting metal, and to be able to come get me if an emergency happens. The next thing we are going to talk about is health. If you are feeling sick with something that is contagious, go to a nurse and have her check you out to make sure it's not something serious. When handling livestock, there is always a chance that there are parasites and diseases. This is why it is important that after we handle livestock, we must wash our hands and not put our hands in our mouth or eyes until they are washed. If you think you may have caught a worm, from an animal, make sure to go to a doctor so that they can get it out of your system. When in the shop, always make sure that there is circulating air and open windows at all times. This is important because when welding, the metal you are trying to weld can put off fumes that can make you very sick and even kill you if inhaled enough. This is especially true in galvanized steel. That is why we will not be welding on this type of material. The last thing we are going to be talking about today is first aid policy. The first aid kit is located on the wall and next to it is an eye washing kit. Before the first aid kit can be used, I have to be informed. If a major emergency happens, like a finger getting cut off, one of the students needs to run into the office and call 911. My minor emergencies can be taken care of by me. You only have permission to use the first aid kit if it is a major emergency. The eye washing kit is to be used if something like a piece of metal is lodged into your eye. First, rush to the eye washing kit and put your eyes next to the nozzles and press the button. Water will then rush into your eyes and will hopefully flush the piece of metal out of your eye. I hope this video helped explain the importance of personal safety, health, and first aid. These are not only skills you can use in the classroom, but they're also skills you can use for the rest of your life while in jobs and at home. Thank you for watching the video.